What's up guys, Selena and Mark here and we're here at Kahala Market and we're going to be shopping for some ingredients for a wild mushroom risotto recipe. Alright, so this month Kahala Market is celebrating rice. Um, so that's why we're cooking up a recipe. They're making it easier for us. Look at here, there's risotto recipe and everything we need. We're doubling up the recipe because my fan is big. My fan is big. We have a variety of mushrooms. It says that we need three of this for one recipe. Since we're doing two times, it's like five. Wow. It is wild mushroom risotto, so... <laughs> I only have three. Three. It says we can either use um, button mushroom or premium mushroom. Oh. So if you want, we can do half and half. Okay. So, of course, if you're doing risotto, we have to use Italian parsley, guys. We only carry Chinese parsley at my house. <laughs> yes. You look at their stuff, it's really... Like, we try to keep it as nice as possible as fresh as possible and you look at it like it's not rotting at all like it's super nice that one looks good like you don't even have to like pick through it like all of them are nice on sale 369 over here they have this kind of wedge this is grand it's a lot firmer cheese it's not but this one says it's good for risotto so i don't know what well, kind it's parmesan. It's not good for risotto. How do you know it says it's good for risotto? It's good for risotto. Oh shit. Sure. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay. So chicken is actually not on the recipe, but we're just gonna grab some to eat chicken on the pie. side with. Manager special. So this is three fifteen a pound. While the one we got was six twenty nine a pound. They look the same. Exactly. So I would think Either one is like odor, or they're just trying to get rid of that odor one that they haven't stopped. But I mean, I think nothing, nothing's wrong with it because they wouldn't sell that expired yeah, chicken, or bad that chicken. Been it's probably just been sitting or like frozen. Mm -hmm. uh, they haven't stopped long yet. Okay. That's I would say. So, what to get advantage of it? We'll take it. Why we're not? Gonna, yet? We're gonna cook it right now, anyways. So. Yes. It's not like we're gonna save it for a minute. Yeah. Also, you know, it's like half the price, man. So why not, you know? Like Hawaii is so expensive, like you can't just be like throwing money away. I think that's it. We have most of the ingredients at home, so yes. this is all we needed from the grocery store. Okay, so if you want the recipe, it's gonna be in the comments section. So you can take a look at that. We'll leave a link there for you guys. Hey guys, we're back. Um, we're in the kitchen. Um, we kind of just prepped up a little bit. Okay. Right now I have a little bit of oil in the pan. 
we're gonna pan sear the cremini mushrooms just to give it a nice golden color um, just make sure the pan is hot and when you i guess pan sear anything you kind of just want to put um enough like you don't want to overcrowd it because it's gonna steam so you want to make sure your pan's hot yeah. Not hot. <laughs> there you go. There's the sizzle. Uh, initially, you would want like a flatter pan, but this is the only pan that we have that's big enough to um, make the risotto. So we're just gonna stick with it. Just gonna make sure, like, like I said. You want to have that nice color caramelization without like steaming the mushroom. Especially the mushroom has a lot of like moisture in it. Since we're making dinner tonight, we thought like just the mushroom risotto wouldn't be enough, so we might as well cook some mostly chicken. Since we're using like chicken stock, we just thought it would make sense to as a protein we should use chicken too. We're just gonna put it in the oven. Pure 50 and then we're kind of just gonna bake it like slow and slow and hopefully we get like a nice crispy texture. Ooh, look at that color! Look at that color! So what we're gonna do since we're doing it in batches, um, so we're just gonna sear it off, give it a nice sear, put it in the side and just go from that. And then once they're all done, we're just gonna put it back, bring it back up, or just heat it up again, and then season it with thyme, garlic, um, and then finish it with butter. And from there, we're just gonna take, put it in the side and save it. And we're gonna go start on the risotto. I'll lower the heat, a little bit of oil, and we're so pretty much just gonna sweat the shallots. The rest of the garlic. Sorry, sweat min means like kind of just cook it up, cook it off until it's almost like translucent. Then we can add minced mushroom. So then you know this take this took very long time. Look at that hard work. See uh, the mushroom is just absorbing all the oil and all the moisture. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Just a little bit more.
<laughs> and I'll bring up the heat a little bit higher. So we just flipped it around so it cooks evenly. Can you go higher? You go higher? Yes. I want to go higher heat. We can just leave it. Just leave it. Mm -hmm. Crispy. 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 Let's do 455 minutes and we'll check on it. Okay, timer. Don't turn off the light. Timer for five minutes. We're just following the recipe. It says um, once the mushroom is nice and tender or cooked, then you can add the rice. And then you kind of just want to toast it for 2 to 3 minutes. Because you can see all that moisture is gone because the rice is pretty much so cooked. There, you just start adding on the chicken stock. Then you just want enough that there's enough liquid to cover the mm -hmm. risotto or like the rice or boil. But you don't want like too much water that kind of just submerge it. And then you kind of just want to keep agitating it. Like I said, like the more you agitate it, the creamier it will get. Hello. Woo! Hello, my head. Let's do another um, five minutes. Another five minutes. So, it's good to have your um, chicken stock like hot already. Kind of like in the pot, like warm. This helps the cooking time to cut the like shorter. That way, like every time you add liquid, it will be the same and it will be hot already. So, like having like cold water adding on, and then the temperature will just go up and down, up and down, and the cooking time will be a lot longer. Not there yet. Nice. Throwing the mushrooms. And then you get all the juices from the mushrooms. Yeah. Just
time to grind. Yes. Finally. Yes. That took longer than we thought. <laughs> the more it was, the longer it was really long. Mmm. Smells really good. Good job, babe. You did a great job. I don't know. Yeah. Truffle. Just that, a little bit. Yeah. It's a it's the perfect touch. So much umami. The cheese goes well. It's good. Mm. It's very well seasoned though. I really like the Carmenian mushroom. Because it has like really firm bite compared to like the button. If you remember we added like we didn't we didn't have enough cremini so we got like some white. Yeah. Because okay. the button mushroom is just like like super soft. Well the cremini is like super tender. Like when you bite it has that like almost like a meat. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a texture. Crunchy. Not really crunchy but yeah it has that bite. What? Pretty good. Then. It's not too salty. That salt on top of the skin helps. Yeah, I love the skin. Crispy. Mmm. Chicken goes really well with the risotto. Yeah. I don't know if it's because we're hungry. Probably because we're hungry. <laughs> or because or it's like really good. Maybe it's both. Yeah. Mmm. This is a bomb recipe for Hollow Market. Awesome job. Really good. I think <clears throat> for people who don't really cook, it's like it's kind of a little. This is a little hard. difficult. I think it's a really good recipe. Mm -hmm. oh. Can you want for me? No. Definitely took longer than I thought it would. Just because. Make your debut, Danny. Yeah. I definitely thought it would be a lot faster. Yeah. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. We will see you in the next cooking video or review video. Yes. <laughs> um, don't forget to click that post notification button, subscribe, uh, like, and comment down below. Do you like risotto? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like risotto? Right. Or um, what's your favorite? Italian food. Mmm. Mm. Pasta. Pasta. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out. Bye.